Hey guys, Matt here. I'm going to go ahead and take a look at the latest version of Secure A+. This is like a, my antivirus of choice. I use it uh, alongside my Malwarebytes. Um, yeah, I've got Malwarebytes and then Secure A+, running. Secure A+, uh, scans any files that you download, uh, any, any files on your computer against 12 online antivirus engines. So it does not install an antivirus engine on your computer. Uh, if you already have an antivirus, you can use this with it. Uh, it also offers something called uh, application whitelisting or just whitelisting. So if you download a file and this file doesn't have like a valid digital signature, most files do, it'll, it'll block it. It'll say, what do you want to do with this? This doesn't have a valid digital signature. Are you sure you really want to install this? So it's got multiple forms of protection. Um, it's pretty light. I don't have any kind of issues with it at all. I've been using it for a year. Um, I think my license expired and I had just got the latest version. So uh, I just downloaded it. I downloaded the, uh, you can say right here, download Security Plus for free. If you do that, it takes you to another page where it says, okay, do you have an antivirus or do you not have an antivirus? So if you don't have an antivirus, you want to grab this one. If you do have an antivirus, cancel that, you want to grab this one over here. So let's go ahead and do a little demo with that. Um, maybe I didn't download it. I thought I did. So we'll go with this guy because we are using an antivirus or we're going to pretend we are. Um, so I have another computer over here, another virtual machine over here that has five pieces of malware, five viruses that I just downloaded. They are maybe an hour old. I got them off our spam filter. So, so we're going to test it out with those. And yeah, go ahead and run. So we're going to test out version 4.2.0. Yeah, that's fine. We'll say okay. That's how fast it installed. Once you install it, um, I believe, and I haven't tested this this year. I, yeah, it wants to do a, an initial full scan. Uh, this can take a while, so I'm going to go ahead and pause the video. All right, so I think it's finished scanning. I didn't, didn't realize anything. It just brought me to this window. Uh, so yeah, the application has changed. The UI has changed a lot from like the last time I've seen it. Uh, I, right now, I'll just keep everything on default. So interactive will be prompted whenever something wants to run or something like that. Security features, you can see everything, you know, everything's running. Uh, last complete scan, it says never, so maybe it's not done. I guess that means it's doing something. Connecting to Universal AV Server. All right, maybe it's not done yet. All right, well, let's give it a little more time here. Okay, well, right now we are experiencing some technical difficulties. <laughs> the universal AV scan, it says full system scan on your computer connecting to universal AV server, and it never connects and gives me an error. So yeah, I'm obviously I'm running this on a virtual machine, but I'm able to get out to the internet on you know anywhere else if I open up uh, Edge, then I can go ahead and click whatever. So you can see I'm connected, uh, but for some reason it can't connect to its uh, Universal AV server. So I think what I'm going to do is go out and do some stuff, and I'll come back in about an hour. And we'll see uh, if it's able to uh, be resolved. I'll also do a reboot as well. Well, this didn't go the way I expected. So I went out, got a haircut, got some lunch, came back, rebooted this machine, and it still says connecting to uh, Universal AV Server. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and test out 
Oh, we'll test out some of the other abilities of this. This is going to obviously be a part one, part two thing. I'm sure they're going to get this fixed. So let's go ahead and grab a infected zip file. We'll copy it. And we'll go ahead and just close that. And we'll try to paste it over here, which is not working, of course. All right, hang on. All right, having a hell of a time with this uh, review today. So anyway, I should be able to drag and drop some malware over here now. It looks like I can. All right, so we've got the malware on the computer with Security Plus running. Let's open it up. And we have some kind of JavaScript file, which is what I've been seeing a lot lately. Drag it out to the desktop and double click on it. And all of a sudden, Security Plus comes up and says, okay, this file is blocked. Do we want to unblock it? Well, what you should look at here is uh, Virus Total has a detection of 2 out of 58. Anything above a 1, I, uh, I block, basically. The Universal AV is scanning it, but it's not going to work because the Universal uh, AV is not working. Server is not reachable. I don't know what's going on. Maybe they have some kind of outage. So we'll go ahead and say continue blocking. Access is denied. That thing could not execute. At this point, I'm free to go ahead and delete it. Okay, let's go to document two. Pull that over here. It's another JavaScript file. We'll go ahead and double click it. Detection ratio is 20 out of 58. Um, I'm going to go ahead and block. And then I'm, I'm going to go ahead and delete. So you can see it's, it's pretty effective at what it does. Um, when you're scanning a file against virus total, I mean, you're getting a good idea of what's going on with that file. Yeah, hang on a second. Appears we've locked up or something. All right, yeah, machine locked up a little bit there, but I'm back. So I copied another file here. It's called marketing. It's another JS file. Uh, four out of 58, obviously it's bad. We'll go ahead and continue blocking. And then uh, get rid of it. So you kind of see how that goes. Uh, I might have one more. Uh, Security Plus does a fantastic job at just you know, scanning these files, you don't know, you know, if they're good or bad. Okay, well, Windows Defender got activated again somehow. Uh, so, yeah, scanning them against Virus Total that has 58 engines. Like I said, anything uh, with a detection of, um, you know, two or more, I usually block. Um, this is my other gripe of the day. I turn Windows Defender off just because I don't want to deal with it. And the stupid thing re-enables itself every freaking time. Yeah, 18 out of 56. I mean, and it gives you the engine. So the AV engine that detected it, the virus name. If you want to go ahead and quarantine it, delete it. Continue blocking. I just say, you know, delete. Boom. Let's see if it's still in there. Oh, it still is. So if we drag it out, okay, and we go here, we'll say delete. It won't even let me delete it. I'm not sure why. I, don't, I guess it's being blocked, basically. Yeah, 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 that would make sense. Continue blocking. Go ahead and get rid of it. So yeah, even though the Universal AV is not working right now, um, the service is down. I mean, the service that you get from Virus Total, where it scans against those 58 engines, gives you a great idea. You know, hey, this is a bad file, or this is a good file, um, and then you're able to block it with the application whitelisting. It's a pretty solid app, and not to mention you can run it alongside your uh, current antivirus. Uh, so yeah. 
Anyway, it's free too. It's free for like a year, so I, I would check it out. Uh, I'll probably do another. I'll probably take another look at it because the universal AV was not working. So um, next video I have coming up for you uh, is Sophos Home. They sent me an email saying, you know, they're giving away their free ver free version of their uh, application. So we're gonna try that out next. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you later.